Hello Fleurs, this is Neon. I hope you're all having a bloody great day today. So we're going to play Scanner Sombra, a new game developed by Introversion Software who developed Prison Architect which was very successful for them. Now the principals of Introversion are Mark Morris and Chris Delaney and this game was originated when Chris Delaney saw a music video by Radiohead called House of Cards and the lead singer was only lit by LiDAR. Apparently this stuck in Chris's mind, so when they finished Prison, Ar Prison Architect, they put together a small team to make a promo of this idea to see if it would work as a game. They showed the promo at E3 and it received a lot of accolades for its innovation, which is pretty obvious. So they've now made it into a full game in the same vein as Esther. So, and this should be a wicked experience, so if you want to see more of this game, then hit that like button, which will encourage me to make another episode. I just love making these videos, but only when you guys really want to see them. So let's get on with the show, and I will see you on the flip side. Bye. Okay, we're starting a tank tent. Oh, that's a nice dirt texture. What's that? That's really good, nice dirt texture. I'd like that in dark mod. What's that? <laughs> Something disappeared. Can't say anything. <laughs> What's that? Ah, this must be the lidar scanner and a VR headset, which you use to see the lidar, I suppose. Cool. Let's try. It. Oh, oh. Look at that, that's fucking gorgeous. Now obviously it leaves shadows of anything that it touches. Wow, that is amazing. That is just gorgeous. I like the way that things are bluer further away than they are closer and redder when they come closer in. I'll talk about why that is later on. This is just gorgeous. Wow. So, it's just fuck. So yeah, LiDAR stands for Light and Distant Ranging. And it's used for, uh, the way it works in real life is that you send out a, a beam, a laser beam like this, and the image that comes back gets recorded with its measurements, exact distances from the scanner, and that data goes into a computer, which gives allows you to recreate a three-dimensional model of whatever it is you're measuring. So it could be a landscape, it could be a cave system, it could be a building. Uh, there's a main big park in Vermont that was used, that was scanned by LiDAR because they wanted to make some changes. Cave systems are often scanned. And the the big cathedral in Barcelona, made by uh, designed by architect Gaudi, I can't remember his first name, a stunning a cathedral, and uh, won't be finished for another hundred years. But that was also scanned by lidar because the original plans weren't as quite as accurate as they need to be. So it's an amazing technology. I was utterly alone. No call for help would ever reach the surface. So it's really cool. My friends all told me I was crazy. My wife just couldn't understand my obsession. Oh, look at this. Ooh. So, there's a trick with this. I hate to know if myths were true. What myths? Uh, there is a trick with this. This is, as I said, this has been made by uh, Introversion Software, the developers of Prison Architect. Chris Delaney did an interview recently, a while ago, about this game, and in the interview he mentioned that, that's a really cool effect, in the interview he mentioned there's an undocumented feature of this game, and that is, if you, because you have to hold down mouse one all the time for the scanner to work, which gets, you know, as you can imagine, will get tiring after a while, 
the undocumented feature is middle mouse button will act as a toggle. It will toggle the scanner on and toggle it off, which is fucking great. Pays to look up background information. <laughs> because there's no, there's no, nothing in the settings that would tell you that. Wow, this is just gorgeous. The good thing about the things being bluer with further away is in painting, when you do a painting, you play three scales against each other uh, to create a sense of depth. One is the temperature scale, one is the gray scale, and the other one is the detail scale. So things get cooler as they get further away. Temperature colors get cooler as they get further away. Colors get uh, things get grayer as they get further away, and things get less detail as they get further away. So with that, you can create depth. So this is why we've got here. We've got red really close and blue further away because it creates a real three-dimensional sense uh, in the mind. But this is beautiful. This is just an amazingly clever thing. Oh, what's this? Ooh. LiDAR scanners. Wow. I don't know if there is a hand scanner for LiDAR. Usually they're, they're mounted like this. I don't know if they actually... They're arches. Why are there arches underground in a cave system? That's a bit weird. So, aperture. Ooh, look at that. Oh, we can get high resolution images. High resolution scan. <laughs> Could this place have been older than the legends suggested? What legends? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> the resolution was astonishing. Never before had a powerful geological scanner been available. I don't know if it's called geological. Just, it is an amazing effect. Look at that, wow. I love that the, the places that you've been to are persistent, that the point cloud remains. That is really clever. Difficult too, Chris was saying. In, in the interview, Chris was saying that it was very difficult to get it to actually be, to be persistent. And it was the, 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 the big technical challenge they had to overcome to make this game. And one of the other things he talked about was he was asked about the difficulty of making detail in a, in a point cloud system. Wow, look at this. What's a person? Is that really there? Or is that... what? What is that? It's using an AF pose. You know, that, that's standing out with his arms out like that. It's called an AF pose. Or is it AS? I can't remember if it's AS or AF. Okay. I don't know what that's about. Why is there architecture in a cave system with arches? Okay, so yeah, so he was saying that the the interviewer asked him if it's a problem designing detail in when you're using a point cloud system, and he said yes, it is. So that they had to design it so that I was just wondering if this is is this a drop? Is this a cliff? I'm guessing not because it's green. He said you have to make your detail very sh strong, very obvious. You can't use subtle detail using a p in a point cloud mapping system. But look at oh, look at that! Look at that's beautiful. Oh, look at that! Oh. I'm just gobsmacked at this game. It's so beautiful. It's just really, really clever. But that's what intro so intro uh, introversion software do. They've always done innovative games. Oh, I thought fell down a cliff there. <laughs> They've always done innovative games. Their first game was uh, a game called Defcon, which was inspired by that 1980s 1980s movie uh, War Games, where the kid breaks into, hacks into the NORAD computer, and plays the global thermonuclear war with him. <laughs> which turned out to actually be a global thermonuclear war if the game had completed. <laughs> and 
And so DEF CON is basically zoom. Why would I want to zoom? So DEF CON is basically that. It's a multiplayer game of global thermonuclear war. It starts out conventionally and always ends up with global thermonuclear war, <laughs> which is really a lot of fun. Uh, the other game was a hacking game, but I can't remember the name of it. I'll put it up here on the screen if I find it. And uh, both are available on Steam, and they're both quite fun to play. But if you're no good at strategy games, don't go and buy. Ooh, up close. If you're no good at strategy games, don't play. Don't buy Defcon because you won't like it. If you like strategy games, then Defcon might really sort of ooh, uh, get your motor going. It's still pl still played today. There's st still players around today. So it's worth a look. But this game is only twelve dollars Australian on Steam, which is probably I don't know nine or ten dollars US. Hello, what are we doing here? We're gonna have to drop down, I suppose. It's a shame the bridge doesn't swing. You know, the, the bridge would be nice if it moved. I'm going to have to drop down again. Oh, what's that? Oh, run! <laughs> that, that guy, he moved. He's up on the bridge. <laughs> he moved. So, this is a horror game. I think it's probably going to be a mild horror game. So... Yeah. This would be wicked if it was if it was a um, like a horror game and and you have to scan the monster and it's only when you scan the monster that you find out that he's it's actually a monster. <laughs> yeah. That would be really good if it was like that. Uh, sometimes I see sensor echoes from days earlier, so maybe that's what we saw before an echo. What are these? What are these? I don't get it. But even so, I could explain everything I saw. Just so beautiful. Steps. Why are there steps in a cave? And all this architecture around the place. Heavy gravel. Listen to the sound. The sound really defines the space for you. You get really echoey when it, when the chambers open up. See the echo is sort of falling away a bit. Um, space opens up. It becomes really echoey. Reverby, I should say. Not echoey. Look at that. Look at that, it's beautiful. When they designed this game, it would have been real, real challenge to design a game like this where there's no, where there's nothing. You've got to make the map yourself. There's nothing in the map when you start. Obviously there is, but you can't see it. You've got to design the map. You've got to make the map yourself with your scanner. An interesting challenge you could do with this, like DLC, you could do would be, you could have a DLC where you actually get a flashlight and the, ga and the map is textured out. Whoa, boy, that's a long way down. Oh, boy. Another way you could do DLC you could do would be to have a battery life on the on the scanner. Imagine what you'd be like in this space when the battery runs out. <laughs> you'd be fucked. <laughs> this is so clever. I love it to bits. So we've got to get over there somehow. I don't know how. But there's a big chasm here. I don't want to fall down. It's a long way down. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Wow. I like that you can see that 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 the places that you've been have been a persistent that the point cloud is persistent. Wow, look at this! This is fucking looking. Ooh wee! Oh, we got a ledge here. Can we get through here? Oh 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 oh! Don't fall! Don't fall! Okay, fall! I'm standing in nothing. I'm standing in mid air. <laughs> this is not right. I'm standing in mid air. Help! <laughs> Someone throw me a rope. <laughs> wow. Oh, 
Okay, we're fine now. I think we're fine now. What's that? What the fuck's that? Something ahead? Sense that glass breaking. Oh, it's people falling. Oh, this is the echoes of the past. Miners, maybe? Falling? Their death? That's really weird. That is really weird. I don't like that sound. It's just, oh. Especially since the game glitches at the same time. Every time the sound plays, the game glitches. We should be able to jump across there. We could probably get across there, but I'm thinking, let's be brave. Let's let's take a challenge. We're gonna jump it. Oh, yeah, we can get across there, but no, we're gonna we're gonna jump. We're gonna jump. Ready, go. go. Ooh, easy, <laughs> easy peasy. It's just wow. This is awesome. I like that it's got a good jump too. It's not it's not a an ambi pamby jump, you know, like in some games where you, you jump like six inches. <laughs> it's got a decent jump on it. Which way are we going? This sounds off to my left, and I don't know what it is. Ooh, ooh, what's this? What's it? Oh, careful! Don't fall! Don't fall! Oh no! Help! Help! Oh, that hurt. <laughs> Fortunately, when you do die, you're going to have to rescan what you've done, but it's really good at doing checkpoints. So we're not putting fall too far behind. We're back on the same place we just fell. Don't fall this time. Careful. <laughs> it's a long way down. I like that you can see through the wall. I reckon that's just fucking wicked. It's, <laughs> it's so good. That's a rock, isn't it? Yep. Okay, here we go. Here we are. <laughs> okay, what's burst scan? What's that? Let's give it a go. A burst scan, I suppose. Oh, yeah! Oh, check that out! Whoa. Oh, boy, that really lays out the detail, doesn't it? Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> burst scan mode. Oh, the stalactites. Oh, oh. That's a long drop down there. I, but I think we can get down there. Yep, yep. Oh, 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 oh. Because it, it was going from red down to green to yellow to blue. So that wasn't a sudden drop. If it's a cliff, it just goes from red to blue. Wow. Slop, slop. Splish, splash. I'm just taking a bath. <laughs> wow. Just awesome. You can see back where we've been. Wow. You can see where we've been through there. <laughs> that place that we've been through. There. It's just really weird looking through the walls. And it plays tricks on you. I'm gonna drop you again. And again. You're just not sure when you drop down. Oh, we're in water. You're not sure when you drop down. Are you dropping into a cliff? So you've got to recalculate based on red versus blue is means a cliff, and red, red, yellow, green means <laughs> you can get down there. <coughs> wow! Check this out. Oh, oh! Don't go that way. Oh! <laughs> what a fall! I already fell once, I'm not going to fall again. Wow, look at this. Ooh, don't go down there. It's a long way down. <laughs> I really, really, really like this game. This is a really good game. If you, you're going to play this game, then it's worth the it's worth the 12 bucks. It's dirt cheap. It probably doesn't have a lot of replay value unless some, they do some DLC for it. <laughs> Unload the capacitor. It is such a unique experience. Ooh, unique experience. We've got to jump here. It's such a unique experience. It's worth the the eleven ninety five or whatever it is in your currency. But it's a really good price point. I thought. Just careful, careful. Don't hit your head. <laughs> yeah, so I thought it was a really good price point for the game. 
Wow, look at that. See right through everything. I'm thinking what we should do is we should get up here and turn the scanner off and just have a look in the darkness and see back where we've come from. Hopefully we won't come across a cliff. Look at that. Oh, look at that. And it's all there. Everything right back to the start is there. It's just wicked. Look at that. It's beautiful. Wow. This is an amazing game. If you hit up, if you want to see another episode of this, then you're going to have to hit that like button. You're going to have to tell me in the comments one way or the other. That's the only way we're going to get episode two. So we're going to leave it there. You have a great day. I will see you next time. Bye.